this week on What's Cooking with Carolina Cooker. For recipes, visit carolinacooker.com. This is Andrew Battle. We're here at the Turkey Ridge Plantation. Uh, we're about to use this Carolina Cooker. I got a, a wonderful striped bass recipe. It'll be good for any fish fry you do, family, friends, whatever. Have some friends over for a weekend or a place like here at Turkey Ridge. We're about to get started on it right now. All right, the good thing about this Carolina cooker is we got two individual bats. We can do fish over here, fries, hush puppies, anything you want to fry all at one time. That way your fries taste like fries, not fish. We got it up to 350. We're going to drop these fries in just like this. All right, we're about to start on our fish. The way I prepared these fish is cut them into little nugget style uh, size pieces. I got some buttermilk, Texas peat, let them soak overnight, three or four hours of work overnight. I got house altry, uh, seafood batter right here. I added Old Bay and Nature Seasoning. Add a good bit of it in there for a little spice. All right, we got our fries out. We're about to start on the hush puppies now. I've got one hush puppy mix, just regular, one with sliced jalapenos. I've tucked and put them on this Uncle Jesse hush puppy maker. You just pack it down nice and firm. You got this little divider. As big or small as you want. Slide it in there like that. And just slide them in. Just that easy. All right, we wrapped up our hush puppies, fries, quail, striper. It was a breeze with this Carolina cooker. We got a last batch about ready. If y'all want an easy to use fish fry, you can do oysters on here. You got an accessory to lay on top. You can put a bunch of oysters in here. This Carolina cooker is where it's at. Check them out at carolinacooker.com.